All websites created on Weblium are well optimized for search engines like Google and Bing. That means that whatever template you choose, our editor lets you work on multiple SEO settings, such as meta tags, alt text, no follow for links, and many more. If done correctly, these will help your site to come up in search results to the relevant queries and rank high among competitors. SEO settings on Weblium can be found in the settings of a particular page in the editor, on the page itself and in the general site settings. Let's start with the editor. Access the page settings by clicking on the gear icon and switch to the SEO tab. Here you can add page meta title and description. These will appear on the search engine results page, but won't be present on the actual website. Their main purpose is to give the visitors a brief page overview so they know whether to click the link or not. To ensure that Google and others pick these meta tags, they should be unique for each page and relevant to the page's content. Continue to add the titles and descriptions for each page you have on the website. Next, let's add page keywords. They also tell the search engines what the page is about, but they won't be seen anywhere except the source code. Note that if you are working on a free website, it can't be seen by search engines. However, it's best to start SEO early in the website development, so when the site goes pro, all the necessary settings are already there. Also, if you are working on a pro site and the work is yet unfinished, you wouldn't want it to accidentally appear in Google search. That's why it's best to hide it from search engines. Once the work is done, you'll be able to open it. Next, if you are adding external links on the page and wouldn't want to share the link mass with other resources, you can turn on the no follow option. This way, the crawlers won't follow the links that you added on this page. Now, let's work with on-page SEO. You probably have some headings on the page for different sections. Make sure that these headings contain H1, H2, H3 tags, depending on their importance. For that, select the heading and click on the gear icon. These tags help structure the page for the search engines. Next, add the alt text for the meaningful images by accessing the image settings. This text should briefly describe the image. It will be visible to the crawlers only, not humans. Also, while you are here, check that all the buttons you have on the page lead somewhere. These could be external resources, other website pages, but the links shouldn't direct to a dead end. Talking about dead ends. Add a 404 page on your website, this is a page where your site visitors will be redirected automatically in case they enter a non-existent link. For that, click on add a new page, then customize it. The message should clearly state what's happened and also give a way out, for example, a button to the home page. Make sure to set the page URL to 404, this way the redirect will happen automatically. Now, let's open the general website settings for a minute and add business information here, contact info, business name, location, and business hours. These details will act as a rich snippet on the search engine results page and will make you more accessible to your visitors, so make sure you fill them in. Look at this example. The phone number comes up right away, so your visitors can reach you with a single click. And finally, once you are done with the site settings, connect a unique domain to your website, then verify it with Google Search Console. It will speed up the indexing process and will also be a great tool to track website performance in Google. A link to a video on how to add a site to Google Search Console is the tip here. All in all, these were the basic SEO settings available on Weblium. Still, remember that search optimization is a continuous process, and even if all is done right, it may take some time for your website to come up in search results. If you see that you don't receive the results you expected, try updating website content, reevaluate your marketing strategy, and conduct deep competitors' research.